Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm here with six ladies and we're going to be talking about relationship goals and just giving each other advice and what we would have told our younger selves if we were 20 or so. I also forgot to turn off my notifications so you will see some of that as well. So never mind any of that. But let's just start with the status of each one's relationship. Single. I'm single. Married. Single as a Pringle. Single. <laughs> single okay so we have a lot of single ladies and one mary so with the controversy with the cheesecake factory does it matter in today's time where you go on a first date would you just settle going to the cheesecake factory in the no, it don't matter to me it's it's about you because you just never know a first date could be anywhere a first date could be you know just a walk in the park or something. You I know? know for me, going to the Cheesecake Factory would be fine. I wouldn't mind that at all. A uh, first date don't have to be a whole lot. Actually, I'm just trying to get to know the per person. No, it doesn't mm -hmm. matter. I mean, as long as it's, you know, something that we both, you know, like to do. Something that we both, you know, agreed okay, upon. Okay, so do you guys want to be picked up or do you mind meeting them there? I'm a meet. Yeah, I can. Yeah. I, I can meet you there. Yeah, me it, too, it just be depends. It just Thank depends you. on where because if it's supposed to be like a nice romantic date, come get me. But if it's just something, you know, small, I can meet you. Now, if I gotta pick you up now, oh, we wow. ain't mean at all. No, we ain't mean at all. I'm not gonna either. take you serious. If I ever gotta pick you up, you're not serious. Period. Yeah. No. For me, it's going to depend on how long I've known you before this first date on whether or not you're picking me up. I don't mind meeting you there, but if I got to pick you up, I'm definitely not taking you serious. So, yeah. Should the conversation be mutual? No, yeah. Yeah, yeah this is a two way. You know, we, we it take two to communicate. So, we, you know, you talk, I talk. We were in the middle of the It's not meant. Yeah, I re yeah, I really would rather for you to do all the talking because you got to make me comfortable, especially me because I'm shy. So you got to do a lot of the talking and get me in the groove. And then if I get the talking back, okay, you got me comfortable. If I get the talking to you, you got me comfortable. And that's the goal is to get me comfortable. I know with me, I come off as shy, but I'm really not all that shy. I'm more of an observer. I love to sit and listen and be entertained and just observe that person. So, yeah. I'm very shy. Me too. I'm shy. Well, I'm not. I'm a social person. I'm a sociable, you know, um, wherever I go, you know, people are going to are drawn to me and they're going to talk and we're going to talk. I mean, so I just, I feel like we both, you know, couldn't and converse to get to know one another. I mean, we ain't putting everything on the table on the first date, but we just right. talk and get, getting to know one another. I think it's like I think it's like my inner child still there is something, you know, that, that I just didn't go through that's still there because I am very, very shy, like very shy. So does the guy need to pay on the first date or should you? Yes. No, he needs to pay. Yeah. He needs yes. to pay. It depends <laughs> on, and that, and that depends on to me who at asking what because you got some females that's not afraid to shoot their shot. So if you're not right. afraid to shoot your shot, and you want to approach this man, you asking him, you know, hey, I want to date you, let's go on a date. You need to pay. So it depends on who asked to me. Never have I ne ever. <laughs> and I, and <laughs> I'm going to take there. me on a me date. He can, he can take me on a date. Um, but, and I believe in, you know, the next time or, you know, I would um offer. I mean, that's just game. You know what I'm saying? Um, you know, I can um pay or help you pay the bill. He's going to be like, no, I got it. You know, <laughs> I need <Yeah>. to <laughs> What you said? It's all about character. Then you're checking out his character. You're checking him out. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. no, well, no, I ain't got no so <laughs> not on the first one. So <laughs> I, I might not be able to have to pay for no date. That not on the first one. Well, I, I mean, you can't go in there expecting neither, and then you get your feelings hurt. 
I mean, you got to be prepared. You know. Yeah, you're going to be prepared. Be pre Definitely be prepared. I'm with Deidre. I'm going to be looking at your character, but I don't mind paying or shooting my shot. But does the guy have to make more money than you? Nah, he don't have to make more money. Definitely but... don't, because you know us as women, we got habits. So we could be making more money than them, but they still manage money better than us. So mm -hmm. they, they don't really matter. Mm, some guys don't know how to manage it. <laughs> Um, yeah, based I, on experience, I mean, um, <laughs> yeah, you got to have some income. It don't have to be more than my income, but you okay. gotta, you gotta have a um income. You know what I'm saying? We gotta, you gotta, you gotta meet me somewhere. You know what I'm saying? Um, in the middle, I'm not. I in in my past, I don't took care. Of, I took care of some people, and um. But I also um, learned from that, you know, no, that is not the way to go because the person is going to take your kindness for a weakness. They're going to feel like you're the um, you're the breadwinner. So they expect it for you to take care of everything. You know, they expect it. That's you, a, you that, know. that got to be exhausting. That's exhausting. Yeah. I know it yeah. is. Yeah. So. Mm mm. For me, he doesn't have to make more money than me, but I would prefer him to. Does he need to respect his mom? Respect, I mama. respect the mama. Respect the mama. Because yeah. yeah. the, the mama boys, nah, it's a no for me. I Just respect your mama. Yeah. If your mama, if you, never mind, I'm going to just say that there. Just respect your mama. Yeah, mm -hmm. definitely respect your mama. That's it. Yeah. Exactly. But most mama boys, some mama's boys don't really respect their mom though because mm -hmm. they they know their mama gonna always have their back regardless. Yeah. You know mm -hmm. how he treats his mom is how he gonna treat you. Right, and that's at that point. That's when you make a decision early on because when people show you those type of characteristics, see that's where we mess up. Mm -hmm. By default, we're nurturers, so we wanna, you know. We like the mother figure. Some, some of, some of these men are out here looking for, uh, um, mm -hmm. the mama in a woman. They looking for their mother, or they didn't have that relationship that they wanted or needed from their mother, and they looking for it from the girlfriend, you know, or the, you know, they looking for that because they didn't, they didn't get it. For sure. I'm big on how guys treat all women, not just their moms. I'm looking into their past and how they treated their exes, all that. I'm definitely paying attention. And sometimes there are red flags that are raised. But definitely, you have to respect your mom. Now, are you guys into asking? I'm not. Or are you too if, if, when if you I'm you you to ask? And we doing this and we doing that. And it's not no gold digging thing. But why I got to be afraid? If we dated and we, we, we got this bond, why do I have to be afraid to ask you for something? If you just say no, you just say no, but I'm not going to never be scared. Yeah, right. I mean, yeah. I mean, if you're in a position like that and you um something come up and you need some help, yeah. Right, I'm gonna, right. I'm gonna, why, he, why he just can't say, oh, uh, if your car broke down, you you need a tire, he got it like that, he should offer it. If, if yeah. He yeah. Part, yeah. He should offer it. Because I know what, baby, I should have to act if I'm calling to tell you I'm For on real. the side of the road, baby. Handle it. Handle yeah. it. Yeah. At times, I can be prideful when it comes to asking guys for money or any type of assistance because just going through my past experiences, I really don't want to do that because sometimes guys, uh, they... They tend to think they own you when they do something for you. And I really don't feel like I should have to ask. I feel like if you're in my life like that and you see that I need help, then you should assist me with it. I shouldn't have to ask you all the time. But that's, you know, that's just my feelings on it. And I, at times I can be prideful and I really rather do my own thing and take care of my own bills and um, issues or whatever. But definitely if I need him, then I want him to be able yeah, to assist. Yeah, they think they own you. Thank you. Mm 
A family man. Family definitely man. a family man. Family. I want to meet aunties, uncles, all of that. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> so how long should you date before Me you too. commit? I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to I mean, I really, you really can't put a time on it, but you, you, you just got to know, you ain't finna, I, I'm not personally finna commit to nobody that I don't, I've been known for two months, you know, just an example, because you don't know everything about a person that fast, but right. I definitely wouldn't, wouldn't put a time limit on it, but yeah. It's it, it's kind of contradicting, yeah, but no. You got to go know. with the vibes. I can use my um, I, like I said, I'm married, and so ours went pretty fast. So we started dating, um, like in May, May of 2017, and um, you know, we talked every day, and um, mm, it was maybe two months after just talking, um, he wanted to take me out on a date. We went. Um, to the movies um, and I met him we, we went to the movies and um, well no I met I, I drove to his house and we left together and went um, to the movies and um, out to eat and um, I'll say mm, say May, June, July August, September by August, he asked me, he was having surgery and he asked me if I would go with him. And may I add, in the beginning, um, he told me that um, you're going to be my wife. And I was like, no, no, uh uh. I'm just coming <laughs> out of toxic. I've been in an 11 year relationship, you know, and I'm not looking to, you know, I, I, you know. He said, well, you know, either way, I've gained a good friend. You know what I'm saying? If, 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 you, if you don't talk to me, I feel like, you know, I've gained a good friend. But by October, we was, like, serious. December, he proposed to me. April of 2018, we were married. <laughs> But y'all, you kind of went when you said he asked you to be in surgery with him. That kind of yeah. was a really big step right there to show. I mean, you you showed up for him when you know when he yeah. really needed to. So that was a big step right there. See, that's the difference. He 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 got to know you in a life situation. You know, yeah. he he needed to. So it's it. I mean, that that is that's that's a different situation. That that, you know, I can kind of see why I kind of went a little fast. Because yeah. you were and we there knew for each other for backgrounds, yeah. our families. You know, we're both from the same hometowns. But guess what? He's fifteen years older than me, and we never cross paths. We're kin to the same people, so we're not blood related. But I'm kin to his cousin. You know what I'm saying? We both kin to the same person, but we're not kin. Y'all understand what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I'm kin like on the grandma and grandpa side. He kin on the on the on mother side on the other side. So, yeah, then, you know. The, the my 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 sister family, um, her dad, um, her grand, his dad and her grandmother dated for thirty years. So that's how close our families were. But he and I never crossed paths. He said he remember when I was born, so he know me and he know my background, you know. And you know, I really didn't know much about him, you know what I'm saying. But we got to know each other. So I had a question. Yeah. For Ms. Dietrich. Um, how does it feel to date older? Like not seeing, you know, just a couple a, a, with that gap. How is that? How was that for you, that experience? I've always dated older, even um in school. Um, I had my kids at an early age. My first child I was 14, and my second child I was 16 by the same guy, and he was four years older than me. Um, after him, I last, um, we were together five years. And after him, um, I was with another guy. He was nine years older than me. And we had a child together after being together for three years. And um, yeah, I felt like for me, I was looking for the love that I wasn't getting from my parents. I got the love uh, from my grandparents, but I didn't get the love that I felt like I needed from my parents, so I looked for it in a man. Just keeping it real. Just keeping it real. Time on me.
It's just whenever you two are both ready. Okay. I, think, I, I, I think it is kind of like a time, though, because what are what are we waiting for? You know, three years. I mean, after three years, you should know whether a person is for you or they not. I mean, it's I know it's hard. Like, I know we we all hold on to we all, especially as girls with like daddy issues and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. We hold on to stuff longer then it's a, we supposed to because we got attachment issues. But mm -hmm. I think three years is too long because yeah. we should know each other well enough to buy by now. Is is you ready or you not? I mean, you know, right. I feel like as a man, as a woman, you know our, if you're ready to commit to God about this person. Then that's to me it's too long. So how long should it be before I mean, you guys move yeah. in together? We're not doing it. We're not doing it until we get engaged. Let me stop. <laughs> We're not doing it until mine, we get engaged. Mine moved in with me. I had a crib. They always moved in with me. Or we got a crib together. I think moving in is a good thing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we moved in together. A person. Because I was engaged. And had I not let this man move in with me, like had I would have waited until we got married, it wouldn't have been nothing good. Right. <laughs> but I let this man move in with me before I got married. And, and you saw them true colors. That's the best thing I could have did because we didn't get married. Okay. Yeah, the mask come off eventually. You know, yeah. some you know are perpetrators. They acting, they putting on, they doing whatever they can to pursue you. But when they show you who they are in the beginning, you get the signs. We just want to ignore them. We want to we want to give them a chance. Or so because we've been single for so long, or we've been through this and we've been through that, and we so desperately, you know, what I'm saying, want that companionship. But you can't move off of your emotions. You really got to you got to feel that 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 person out, that man out, because this is people wearing masks. They wearing masks, baby. Ooh, Jesus. Yeah. <laughs> they true. I agree with that. A lot of guys are out here wearing masks, and but sooner or later, it's gonna show. It's gonna show who you really are. Anytime a yes. situation come up, you definitely don't want to lead with your emotions because that can be for a tragic outcome. <laughs> Um, I have yeah, to have messed up. This my second that marriage. Has happened, so we definitely don't. So I got a question of. That so when you say well I get what you're saying we're not moving off emotions I get that wholeheartedly but what are you doing to make sure that you're not moving off emotions like how do you what, what are what's your opinion on how do you, how are you gonna do process the situation and make sure you understand the other person because a lot of people just listen to respond we be so eager to respond and we're not really listening so that's that's what I would do. I, I, I want I want to listen mm -hmm. and, and process the whole situation because, like I say, things leading with emotions. When emotions are involved, things can go left real quick, and that's not what we're aiming for. So, don't lead with emotions. Mm -hmm. You know, you you can't be just one sided. You doing everything, and he just, um, mm -hmm. you know, what I'm saying taking all. You know, you catering to him, but he's not catering to you. It don't work like that, right? I said I've, and I've we're had seeing that he has to receive the same thing. Cause baby, are you guys interested in guys with smoking or drinking habits? I'm an occasional drinker. I like I'm the occasional, occasional drinking, the yes, occasional. Me. But the smoking, I I have dated someone that smoked. I hated it, so I I, I never want to get myself back into that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I agree. Me too. I definitely don't want anyone with any habits. Um, I don't want to have any habits, and he definitely can't have any. Yeah. <laughs> so, guys, we're going to wrap this yeah. up. I want to thank you all for joining us yeah. tonight. And yeah. if I haven't said it already, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and join us later. Until next time, yeah, you guys. Bye-bye. Right. Got me whipping it up in the kitchen. Yeah. Sports and all.